The Qur'an describes the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as having a tremendous character. What does that mean? We're joined by Noman Ali Khan here to tell us a story that will illustrate something about the character of the Prophet. Brother Noman, what, what, how do we know that the character of the Prophet Muhammad was, was tremendous? Can you give us some examples of that? Sure, yeah. Um, I think the reference you made from the Qur'an, mm -hmm. uh, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ عَظِيمٌ that you are absolutely, without a doubt, committed to a high ethical character uh, and, and a great ethical character is important to understand. Uh, and in addition to illustrating it through an example, what I'd like to illustrate is that that particular statement in the Qur'an is very early. It's a very early revelation. And what that suggests is that this is not referring to the Prophet's character as a Prophet. That it's actually referring to his character as a person being a member of that society for 40 years. It's actually referring to him pre-Islam. And so he's a citizen of this community. And then God refers to his great character in this way. Why? Because you can have great things to say as a preacher, even as a prophet. But a message is only it's hollow in and of itself if it's not fortified by credibility. Mm -hmm. And credi one of the most sustainable forms of credibility is character. I mean, you can have, for example, nowadays you can have some really eloquent, well-spoken politicians, right? Um, but what's the easiest way to dismantle their entire political campaign? Smear character, right? If you can find something that's a flaw in their character, some kind of corruption, then doesn't matter how well they speak and how highly they speak of ideals, none of it actually means anything because mm -hmm. there's no character to back up those high claims. So the Prophet's given the highest speech, this high noble message. Right? So it wouldn't have any validity if there was no substance and credibility to his character. Mm -hmm. What's incredible about that is that Mecca was pre-Islam known as a pretty corrupt place. Business practices, social practices, inequality, injustice, you know, a law of the jungle, survival, you know, the, 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 the strong beat up the weak because they can, you know, mm -hmm. right, might is right. This is the kind of lifestyle that that society had. And they had a great economic promise and strength. So they didn't see a need to reform themselves. A lot of times, the kinds of reforms that are associated with justice are the ones that aren't very profitable. Mm -hmm. So they see no incentive in changing themselves. Now, if one person living in that society that's overwhelmingly corrupt sticks to honesty, it sounds almost like they can't even survive. And yet he not only survives in that society, he, is, he sticks out so much from the rest because of his character, not because he's preaching anything. As a matter of fact, he's described as a quiet type originally. But because of the business practices, because of his dealings with people, because of the honesty, he actually got nicknamed in a culture where poetry was used to insult people. <laughs> this was the culture. In that culture, he got nicknamed the honest one and the trustworthy one, the truthful one and the trustworthy one. And so God refers to that and says, you're questioning the integrity of him as a messenger and you've never questioned his integrity for 40 years as the most decent among you. You who don't like to praise anyone have praised him. Mm. You who are obsessed with praising yourselves have praised him. So the ultimate testimony to your character is the character, the, the, the testimony of those who aren't even on your side. So even those who didn't really want to accept his message, they couldn't deny that he they was couldn't deny his character. And, and his, and, and that you know, and that's yeah. that's the the ultimate testimony to Islam for us. Muslims see that if we're going to deliver the message of Islam, that's a message. Mm. But that message also will be hollow until we display character. So these words are actually not just for us to educate non-Muslims about, but it's actually a very powerful lesson for ourselves to really engage in very serious ethical reform. That would be easy for anybody to see, Muslim or not. Okay, thank you, Brother Noman, for telling us a little bit more about the character of Prophet Muhammad. I appreciate that.